what is the first element that comes to your mind when you think about luxury? For many of you, I'm sure it is its price or what business people call the pricing power of luxury brands, which is their ability to charge more. And it's true. Luxury goods can be extremely expensive and more often than not, entering a luxury store will end up breaking your bank. Why are luxury brands charging more than mass brands in general? Well, luxury can be expensive because luxury goods use the most precious materials and know-how. Imagine an haute couture dress from Chanel with its precious embroideries and rare feathers. Picture the precious stones and gems facing a Van Cleef and Arpels piece of high jewelry. Or even think about the miracle broth, the secret ingredient in a $570 La Mer face moisturizer. But luxury is not just about price and money. For some of the wealthiest individuals, luxury is not about material goods. For some of them, the only luxury is space and time. This is the subjective aspect of luxury, and this aspect is free. Also, luxury brands themselves have products that are not that expensive. A Hermes lipstick, for instance, will cost 47 bucks, which is a lot of money for a lipstick, but definitely affordable for many people and not just for the ultra well. After all, luxury marketers know that luxury is not about selling, it's about igniting the desire to buy. Keep this in mind, even if you're not in the business of luxury. From this principle comes something called the Veblen effect, which says that the more expensive a luxury product is, the more consumers will desire it. This is why luxury brands regularly increase their prices so much that a Birkin bag has gone up in price more than a Bitcoin over the last few years. So. Can we say that luxury consumers are not price sensitive at all? Definitely not. At a certain point, increasing prices for no reason becomes snobbery, which is the opposite of luxury. Luxury brands can increase their prices, but only up to a certain limit. Or as German bankers famously said, trees don't grow to the sky. Finding these sweet spots in between luxury and snobbery is more of an art than a science. It is like striking just the right balance in between price and value. What is a cynic? Famously asked Oscar Wilde. A cynic is a man who knows the price of everything and the value of nothing. So in luxury, don't be a cynic.